And then this is something I had to get to today because it's so weird. In fact, this ought to be on the nightly news. In fact, I'm going to shoot something on the nightly news about this. Um, alien bugs discovered in Earth's atmosphere. And this did not come to us from the Planet Pop-Tart website. This came to us from Sky News or the Fox News of the UK. British scientists believe they found small bugs from outer space in Earth's atmosphere. Yeah, they found like in mine shafts and stuff too, things that, 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 that they didn't know were of this world before. Tiny organisms were discovered by the University of Sheffield. Experts on a research balloon, they sent 27 kilometers into the atmosphere. I remember when the guy jumped from several miles or whatever, uh, the, the, the highest jump in the spacesuit from a balloon. I mean, it's just so amazing. Uh, the microscopic bugs were detected when the balloon landed back on the ground in Wakefield, West Yorkshire. But the scientists insist the samples could not have been carried from Earth's surface into the stratosphere. The second layer of the atmosphere, which stretches 50 kilometers or 31 miles uh, from the ground up into the atmosphere. And folks, they've, this has never been found before, whatever these things are. So this is a big deal. We can punch it up on screen. Yeah, there you go. Uh, really, really amazing science fiction stuff. Look at this little creature. Uh, the fragment of an organism was also found, scientists say. Uh, just amazing. We are, we are certainly uh, in the middle of an amazing creation. But the system wants to shackle us and kind of keep us in their own little artificial paradigm. Their full-spectrum dominance, their silent weapons for quiet wars, soft-kill system. And fighting that valiantly is the Health Ranger. Joining us here in studio, Mike Adams of naturalnews.com. Because I wanted to get him on last week, so he's here for that at the bottom of the hour. This story from naturalnews.com, 10 outrageous, and I'm going to tweet it in a minute at Real Alex Jones, 10 outrageous but true facts about vaccines the CDC and the vaccine, vaccine industry don't want you to know about. This is so useful because just like I get callers that are asking me if vaccines are bad, there are a lot of people don't know what's going on. Just because you know that the inserts say it can kill you, just because you know it's causing an epidemic of neurological disorders, you know, mainline Harvard studies, just because you're informed, your neighbors aren't informed. You need to inform them right now with tools like this. So I'm going to tweet it while Mike's talking, and I want you to retweet it from Real Alex Jones in just a moment when I do this. But, but Mike, before we get into that, the shooting at the Navy Yard, the gangland shooting in Chicago, all these are done in gun-free zones. As usual, psychotropic drugs are involved. Break down from all your research exactly what we're facing. Well, Alex, thanks for having me back on the show. It's, yeah, buddy. it's, it's an honor to be here again. I've been kind of out of the loop for a little while working in the lab. You know, I'm doing this forensic food lab. There's a lot of news coming out later this year. Very exciting. With you. I brought this table of elements in here today to uh, to show you, obviously your, your radio listeners can't see it, but we'll describe what we're seeing. This helps to explain why psychiatric drugs are so toxic to the human brain. You know, brain chemistry is directly interfered with by SSRIs. That's what SSRI stands for, is selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. And uh, as serotonin obviously is one of the very important brain chemicals that gives you normal balance. And that's why in almost every case, these shooters are saying, I felt like I was in a video game. And this shooter in the Navy Yard, he was a video game addict, right? And they say, I felt a sense of detachment. And uh, the Columbine shootings in Colorado, those two shooters had the same kind of description. They feel like they're in a video game. They're not in their own real mind. This element, fluorine, on the table of elements that I brought here, it helps explain why this is the case. Fluorine is in the seventh column of the table of elements if you break it down to just the eight column model without the transition metals here. Um, why that's important, and I'm not going to get too technical, but from a chemistry perspective, fluorine has seven electron clouds in its outer orbital, so it's lacking one electron. It wants to steal electrons from other elements. So if it gets near anything else, including chemicals in your brain, normal healthy brain chemicals like serotonin, it, if it is unbound from the molecule that it's attached to in the, in the pharmaceutical, such as the psychiatric drugs, it will start to ravage other chemicals in your brain and in your body. This is why fluoride kills insects and it's such an effective insecticide. 
This is why fluoride causes bone cancer when it's added to water as flu fluosilicic acid. Fluorine is represented in psychiatric drugs at the level of about 14% according to atomic mass. So if you, if you would break out all the elements and weigh them, fluorine is about 14%. And yet it is one of the most wide ranging reactive industrial chemicals in human civilization. And they've known this for hundreds of years, and that's what Absolutely. Dr. Blaylock talks about. It also supercharges everything else they're putting in us. Exactly. It's the master chemical weapon uh, supercharger. Exactly. And your term supercharging segues us into vaccines because the CDC openly admits that at least five chemicals or elements are still being used in vaccines. And today we're going to talk about the uh, aluminum that's still used in them, mercury is still used in them, MSG, yes, monosodium glutamate, a neurotoxin that you've had Dr. Blaylock. Because it's an about. excitotoxin. It's an excitotoxin. It is used in vaccines to, quote, supercharge the vaccine as an adjunct. Now, let's stop one place because, I mean, you talk a lot about iodine, and every medical doctor I talk to, yes. more and more are saying this is the key to everything. Notice in the same area of the table here, you've got iodine that your body needs, so they take that out of the food, right. out of the salt, what you actually need to replace it with something that goes into the thyroid instead. I mean, they know exactly what they're doing, yeah. and, 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 and when they try to make babies drink fluoride, they are literally trying to savage their brain you're, you're very observant you're exactly right on if you move down a column of the table of elements and this is considered the seventh orbital column you have fluoride chlorine bromine and iodine these tend to interfere with each other or compete for absorption or attachment throughout human physiology so when you're drinking fluoride your body's not able to get the iodine that it needs in the right places such as breast tissue prostate tissue this is one of the reasons why so many women have breast cancer today because fluoride or even chlorine that they're getting from tap water both of those are in tap water are interfering with iodine absorption so if you move down a column of the table of elements you can actually discern a lot of interesting information i finally started listening to everybody about six months ago and started making myself take the nascent iodine and the yep. uh and the uh, southern hemisphere brown seaweed and it is like a drug i'm even more crazed now <laughs> oh no oh no what's that world <laughs> Well, you need to get, I think, I would recommend Dr. Brownstein, uh, David Brownstein. We're getting him on next week. It's funny you said oh, that. Good, good. He is the, the best expert that I know of, of iodine. And he has studied it extensively, and he recommends that the level of iodine people should take is literally, if memory serves me correctly, 100 times to 1,000 times higher than what the government recommends, which is not surprising because the government wants everybody nutritionally depleted. But... Iodine, nascent iodine, in my opinion, uh, I don't, you know, I don't manufacture the product. This is a third-party opinion. Nascent iodine is one of the most miraculous, life-saving supplements that our society needs, especially landlocked Americans, because we're not getting the seafood. The well, that's why the Japanese live so much longer. They tend to have much lower rates of breast cancer until they move to America, and there have been really good clinical studies on this. Once they move to America and start eating the American diet, they're dead. They get the same rates of breast cancer as American women. So what's changed? Their foods, their diets. But at the same time, you got to be really careful about the sources of seaweed you're getting. Make sure you're getting good quality sources. So a standalone iodine supplement is ideal to give you the iodine just when you need it. Now, you recommended the monophylone we sell. That's yes, good, yes, right? Yes. That's from Southern Hemisphere, and, and, and you've tested it. Because uh, uh, that's what my wife really loves. She says this. Could, uh, I guess the other cofactors in the seaweed are helping. Yeah, there's a lot in that seaweed. It's, it's, a, it's a brown seaweed extract. Yeah. All right, we'll be right back to get into the vaccines with Mike Adams. Stay with us. The Alex Jones Channel is the official page of the Info War. But don't miss what's happening on our other channels. The Info Warrior, with the week's best videos. Prison Planet Live, where Paul Joseph Watson gives his expert analysis. And keep up with the rest of the Info Wars crew on our other pages. All of our videos are available to repost for educational purposes. See the sidebar of the Alex Jones channel for the subscription links. And remember, you can always find our videos in the highest quality by becoming a member of PrisonPlanet.tv.
This is a short segment, long segment, coming up to get into a ton of news, stuff you've broken on the TED conference. Uh, you've got a video here we're going to play a clip of that's up on naturalnews.com. We just posted it to infowars.com with your organic spy series inside uh, Whole Foods. But you were just mentioning, man, we're, we're, we're starting to win on so many fronts. I'm seeing a giant awakening. 91% against the Syria war. Uh, the, the mainstream media dying, the alternative media becoming the, the dominant media. Um, but this is a big responsibility, though. Yes. Uh, but yeah. so, so, I mean, talk about the awakening. You were just talking about it. Well, I, I was saying to you during the break, we're winning on so many levels. Uh, it, it is astonishing. The, right now, on, on the scientific front, the, uh, we are getting the real scientific principles out there that are going to save humanity. The precautionary principle, when we talk about GMOs, for example, we are exposing the fact that mercury, one of the most toxic elements in the table of elements, is still injected into babies and children intentionally by doctors, and that should be a crime against humanity. Every doctor that injects a child with mercury should have their license revoked, and they should be arrested and charged with a crime. In my opinion, obviously, and probably in yours as well. We are winning on so many fronts. We wait until October 1 comes around, Alex, because the Obamacare exchanges are a disaster. A disaster waiting to happen. I think today Congress actually voted to defund Obamacare, which is a, a, a partial victory in the House. It may not survive the Senate, of course. But once it's rolled out and people realize that that IT system doesn't work, there's going to be even more calls for Obamacare to be defunded or radically reformed or even revoked. People all across the country are losing their jobs, losing hours. Losing their, they're, they're, they're having full-time jobs, switched to part-time jobs. They're being kicked off healthcare plans from companies like Trader Joe's. A sea world even did the same thing. It's happening all across the country. The fact is that the truth is coming out. And it's due to organizations like yours, InfoWars, and I'm contributing to it, many others. You have some new people here who are contributing to it in very substantial ways. We are winning because the truth cannot be hidden forever. We're winning because the people desire the knowledge that can transform them and give them the kind of freedom that America was founded on. So all of these corporations that are committing these terrible evils that are harming our children with vaccines, that are poisoning our population with drugs, all of these tyrants, like in my opinion, Feinstein, who is an anti-constitutional traitor to the United States, traitor to the people, all of these people are being exposed. The truth is coming out and it cannot be stopped. Even if they manage to stop you or me personally, there are many other people who are ready to continue to carry that torch forward, tell the truth, have websites, conduct activism. This whole movement, Alex, is decentralized. So there's not even really one place that they can go and stop the truth from coming out. The internet is by nature decentralized. And that's always been my goal, is to get as many people awake and active. That's why I've never been in competition with all the other media people and alternative media. So many of them think it's about shutting down their competition, not understanding it's about empowering and getting more people involved. This is a life and death situation. I, that's what's absolutely. been so great about your work, Mike, is working with everybody together positively to really try to give the globalists a run for their money. And we're doing it now. Yeah. And look at Cass Sunstein at the White House. He said their number one goal is to get us to end fight. That's why they're launching the armies of trolls, trolls right now. Oh, but it's not working. Yeah, it's not right. working. It's not working. But we, we also have very strong evidence, lots of evidence. The trolls specifically target us. They spread disinformation. You know, this is old news. But what we're seeing now are more advanced linguistic patterns. So we now believe that these systems that, for example, drug companies hire anti-PR firms that run thousands of bots that are initiated through zombie controlled computers using a multitude of IP addresses all across the country. And you're a top programmer. The, but I mean, yeah, this is all admitted I'm, though. I'm a software developer. This is all admitted though too. Yes. No, I, I develop word algorithms to as part of the science.naturalnews whole system. I, I wrote those algorithms, so I understand parsing language. So what we're seeing is that there's new language appearing by the trolls that appears to be automatically generated. It's, it's algorithmically generated. So for those out there listening right now, if you see negative comments about Alex Jones or about Mike Adams or the health ranger, you should, in your mind, a red flag should go up where you say at least 50% of those negative comments are not real people. They're algorithms. And then it creates a snowball effect where weaker people then regurgitate it. Right, right. Because there, there's all these psychological 
uh, forces in place, the sheeple mentality, the herd mentality, and it's very real. People want to follow the crowd. So what they do is they use these algorithms to try to create a fake crowd that then susceptible people with weak minds. It's internet, follow. it's internet astroturf. Stay there. Yes. We're gonna come back and get into the ten outrageous but true facts about vaccines the CDC and the vaccine industry doesn't want you to know about. I just shot out the link at Real Alex Jones on Twitter. Mike Adams, our guest, and your phone calls are coming up. Stay with us. InfoWarsStore.com, a conscious and involved distributor of independently made products that support a healthy and aware community. Dive into cleaner waters with your own ProPure system and Pro1D filter. Save 10% with the promo code WATER. We've handpicked a veritable treasure trove of the best non-GMO seed banks on the market. And our selection of films showcases a wealth of knowledge outdone only by our books. Check for combo packs to multiply your savings. Wear your colors proudly with one of these conversation starters. Now available in pink. Get prepared and fund the revolution at InfoWarsStore.com. By the way, there's been some new big scientific discoveries and developments. We're going to get into those with Mike and then into vaccines uh, here in just a moment as a real public service emergency announcement of facts. But look at this article out of Wired Magazine since Mike mentioned that. They've had bots for about five years I know of writing fake news. Okay, that way you put out talking points, but to make it look like there's diversity, a computer then basically scrambles it, but you can't tell the computer uh, uh, wrote it in, in most cases. We've then talked to people in the industry that write, and they say they've been replaced. They're like these link farm folks that just write these, you know, these jumbled articles on top web searches. Well, now computers are uh, replacing that, but the CIA invests in narrative science and its automated writers. Again, to just create gnome de plumes, fake people. Because humans might have a conscience and want to tell you the truth. So now they actually have articles coming out where basically... People are told by an editor a talking point, here's what you write about, and then a human reconstructs it, but still some truth might get out. And so they want it to be done by robots. So that's the future we face. That's why they want the military to go to drones and combat uh, robots and things, because they won't refuse the illegal criminal order. This is what the technocracy is about. Now, you were just telling me about and we're pulling it up to show viewers I remember seeing this yesterday as well and meant to get to it. Kind of like they just discovered new life forms 37 miles up in the atmosphere. I mean, it's just stuff's getting that's crazy. Wild. That's wild. crazy. <laughs> I mean, and it's just going to speed up towards the singularity. Break down what you just got into dealing with DNA. Well, I, I, di I didn't bring all the documents on this, but this is so huge. And this, this has huge implications for forensic in police work. Uh, many people who've been accused of crimes may be innocent because of what I'm about to tell you. Uh, throughout the history of science and genetics, it has been assumed that your genetic code is identical across all of your cells. So if they take a sample of your hair or a sample of your skin or a sample of your saliva or even a sample of your liver, for, for, for that matter, that your cells are going to have the same exact genetic code. It turns out this is false, that your, you have genomic divergence across your physiology, across your, your phenotype, in, in other words, your, your expression of genes, is different because your genes are actually different in your own body. So, yeah, you might have small hands and big feet. And they may be because of different genes on one side versus the other. This happens very early in fetal fetus development that you can have genetic uh, divergence, basically, at a very early stage. And then that gets multiplied and multiplied. So you, your heart organ may have a different genotype, different genetic code than your hand. And this has just been scientifically proven. It is shocking. Most scientists hearing this will say, I'm making it up. It can't be true. This is, a, this is completely false. But no, uh, science has to be rewritten. And this is the message here, Alex, that so much of what's coming out today means that science has to be rewritten. We have to move forward and understand new ideas and not get stuck in the old ideas. I just did an article about the TED conferences and TEDx where they had posted a story that said anybody talking about GMOs has to be red flagged. 
and they banned a, a, a talk by Dr. Rupert Sheldrake on consciousness, and they banned a talk by Graham Hancock. Oh, yeah. I, I, I mean, they're total New World Order. Absolutely, absolutely. But they said that if you talk about foods as medicine, then you are a, quote, health hoaxer. So they're stuck in this flat earth. But Linus Pauling won the Nobel Prize for that. Of course. Yeah. Orange peels. Uh, vitamin C is very, very therapeutic. I want you to get back into that because you mentioned this genetic thing. I want to go okay. back before I yeah. forget to get so into I this. Carried off. They said, no, no, no. They said that, you know, 96% of the DNA was junk. Now they've gone in. That's why all these top geneticists that, uh, that have these super high power electron microscopes are becoming religious now yeah. and saying somebody made this right. because there's like all these other genomes of other animals in there and there's all these other people in there and it's got like little antennas to receive. I mean, it is the yeah, people are like, going, whoa, whoa, it's all being used. It's all going on. And it's amazing. Well, the, the, the human genetic code, it's interesting. Scientists, they say they think they understand the cosmos, but they don't understand the 96%, which is dark matter and dark energy. They have no clue about that. All of this, this table of elements that I have here, of which all matter in our world and our cosmos is made of, according to the scientists, this is only 4%. Alex, of the material universe, the other 96% is unknown, just like in That's the right. With our world. devices, not just our senses, we can't even detect it. Right. And we've only just invented devices that can detect it. And you have scientists that, that are out there saying, well, the, the universe, there was this big bang followed by inflation, and it, it became a whole universe, a cosmos, from nothing with, without cause. Therefore, there's no God. Huh? What? Wait a minute. Who started the big bang? Who seeded the cosmos? And then you've got whole issues about the multiverse, right? That we are one universe of many multiverses, all with the creator, an engineer, you could say, from a technical perspective, who created this. There has to be a cause to create an entire universe. It doesn't happen from nothing. It's obvious. Well, exactly. It's like saying in, a, in the middle of a Sahara desert, a, a fine Swiss wristwatch would over time would be blown together. Everyone knows that's impossible. And then a cell is literally billions of times more complex. And then we've got all these different cell groups, almost like a jellyfish is really a, a composite organism, a colony. We're really a colony. But we, then we we're energized by an energy force that, that, the, that the science is now showing in all the studies, that's what you'd call a spirit. Right, exactly. A space-time continuum. A presence, consciousness, and so on. Also realize in the history of science, they said up until, uh, I, don't, I don't know the exact date, but uh, until the era of microbiology, they said there is no such thing as bacteria, disease can't be spread ba by bacteria, and those scientists were crazy who said so. Exactly. But today, we have more cells in our bodies, Alex, that are bacteria than human cells. We are a hybrid organism. And in fact, there's new science being done right now on the genetic expression of the bacteria in your gut being more important for your health. And of course, Bill Gates already knew that. And they've expression. been targeting us with the GMO Absolutely. all along. And the antibiotics. Hacking the brain through the stomach. And genetically hacking your, your intestinal flora through GMOs, which are believed to be transgenic. Well, it's now been admitted. It came out this year. It's now leaking into the DNA. Right. Altering the DNA of your gut bacteria. There was a story that just came out today. A man had his gut infected with a yeast infection, and he was brewing beer in his own gut and getting drunk without drinking. It, because and that's what's happening with the autistic kids in many of the spectrums is that they are actually have toxic garbage growing in them. Yes, yes, and it's all made worse by this this corporate driven or corporate hijacked quote science, which is not real science. It's just a way to exploit the human body, like in the Matrix, for control and for profit and to doom humanity. That's what's the, the big picture here. If we're going to save humanity, we have to move forward. We have to get past this hijacking of... of Mike, you're on fire. Forward. Sorry, I... I'm no, you're always on stuff. fire, but... What, did you go up on top of the mountain or something? No, I just had a normal day, a normal chocolate avocado smoothie like I always have, and I'm just... I'm, I'm passionate about this. You're seething with power, Lord Vader. To, humanity is in danger, Alex. You know this as well as anybody. We have to get past this. But let me get back to the vaccines, because I know... I you can feel the be, awakening, can't you? Absolutely. We are right now, we are, we as a society are poisoning our children with what's in vaccines. We're going to cover the vaccines, but look, uh, 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 Chris yeah. Jordan's wife brought this up. They're rock hounds. 
it looks just like it does in your periodic table here of elements. Yep. There is the loving fluorine, the little cube, uh, Borg. So that's what it is, microscopic cubes that, that the globalists are injecting into us. This is a calcium fluoride rock, and the, the only reason it's safe and the only reason we're not dead right now being in the room with this element is because, you notice I said before that, it's bound. It, that it is bound to the calcium, which is over here on the other side. Calcium has two has two electron clouds in its outer orbital shell. It binds with the fluoride. Calcium, uh, things on that side of the table bind with things on this side of the table, essentially. That, it's, it's a general trend. So it is good to take calcium to bind up that? Well, it, it can, but it's better to take iodine to compete with it. Yeah, exactly. So the nascent iodine is really the best way, but you should avoid fluoride, period. It's, avoidance is a lot of the strategy here of everything we talk about. But also notice right here in the middle of the table, you have zinc, cadmium, and mercury. Mercury, be, these are all in the same ro uh, uh, column. Mercury is highly toxic, highly neurotoxic. Cadmium is a highly toxic element, a heavy metal that's now being found in many foods, including some of the tests we're doing are showing it in brown rice, including organic brown rice is having a variety of levels of cadmium. But zinc is a nutritive element. So sometimes in these tables, you see something you need like zinc on top of something you don't need like cadmium. So if you take more zinc, guess what? You're blocking, you're helping to block the absorption of cadmium and the absorption. So it's not just important to take this stuff because you need it. You need to block the other stuff. Defensive eating. This is something that I'm really hot on right now. Defensive eating. If you go out and you eat shrimp in a restaurant, most shrimp will have some level of mercury in it. But you can eat, you can take activated charcoal capsules that will absorb the mercury from the shrimp. So you can actually go out and you can have a meal that you enjoy. I enjoy eating seafood too, you know, but I take chlorella and I take activated charcoal and I know that I'm not absorbing the mercury in the shrimp. It's defensive eating just like defensive driving. It works. Sounds pretty extremist. <laughs> I know, I know. To, to Being be informed and involved? Yeah. Pretty uh, crazy. That sounds extreme. Pretty crazy. But I bet you even know how to read. <laughs> yeah, and, I bet you think women should breastfeed. It. It's one of my one of my tenets of nutrition. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's Al Qaeda right there. Yeah, seriously. Oh no, Al Qaeda's yeah. the good guys now. Uh, so oh, I can't yeah, I say. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't. Hey, what do you make of the whole war imploding and everything? Uh, For now. I, well, I haven't covered it that much because I've been focused on these areas. But I'll say, in my opinion, when Obama said that raising the debt ceiling doesn't increase the debt, that right there, that was the final quote of the final chapter of the American empire going down in flames financially. I think they are the ones going crazy, believing their own. And we're looking at the reason, Alex. Again, let's go back to the table of elements. We have lead here. We have cadmium. We have mercury. We have aluminum, which at very high levels can also alter brain physiology. This is the reason. One of my main theories right now of what's causing the insanity in our world. No, it's like the Romans. The Romans. The Romans. The, yes. The Romans, of course, lined their clay pots with lead. And the aqueducts. And, and, and that was towards the middle and the end. Their decline began when that happened. Absolutely. They were stark, raving mad. And lead makes you violent. Lead makes you crazy. It makes you violent. Cadmium destroys uh, kidney function. It gives you heart disease. You look at all of these elements. Mercury makes you crazy. Mercury gives you a lobotomy. But CBS said it improves, improves their brain, yeah, children. And they're victims of mercury, too. See, that's the other thing, and you've said this before, the reframing of all of this. The people that we are trying to save in the Matrix are also victims of the Matrix. So we have to be careful, too, and I, I realize this, too. Sometimes I, I, I might go too far and attack victims of the system. You know, sometimes I call people morons if they're scientists who don't get all this. Uh, and sometimes I have to step back from that and realize they're victims, too. They've been brain damaged. Well, remember before you were awake, you didn't have any of the pieces, so none of it made sense. Once you start getting a few pieces, then it accelerates. Yeah. But we were once as dumb as dirt. Absolutely. I was raised on a standard American diet. I took antibiotics. I ate, you know, all, the, all these heavy metals at one time. And by the way, these, this takes a very concerted effort to get these out of your system. Cadmium has a 27-year half-life in the body. Lead stays in your bones. You got a lot of elderly women who are now uh, recycling bone mass. They're losing bone mass. Their bone mass is being depleted and going into the That's why they're going crazy. They're going crazy because the lead is coming out of their bones now for the first time in their lives. The lead is going from the bones into the blood. Now the, the lead in the blood gets into the brain, makes them crazy. This is, this is. That's where you get the syndrome of mean old women. This is exactly where it comes from.
And also pregnant women out there need to understand that your first child becomes really the dumping ground for a lot of the toxicity that your body has stored up. So you're, if you're not cleaning your body and getting rid of all these elements and heavy metals and toxic chemicals, your first child is usually the most messed up because of this. That's right. And then the second child comes. That's out like people exposed clean. to Agent Orange. The first kid was always absolutely just devastated, and then, and then and then they got better as you went. Because the wisdom of the body, Alex, is amazing. Mother Nature is amazing. The 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 woman, the mother, her body is trying to get rid of this stuff for any way possible through the skin, through respiration, through feces, through urination, but also by dumping it into the fetus. And this is something that modern scientists and modern doctors just completely deny. They're living in total delusion world. They deny all of this, and as a result, our children are being poisoned every That's right, because in a genetic evolutionary way, and we don't mean the establishment evolution, but the clear development, it's more important for the woman to survive to make a bunch of kids right. than even the first one. Exactly. So it, yeah. the, the male can be a lot more toxic because the sperm doesn't carry the load of heavy metals into the fetus, not at all. The sperm is really just digital information. It's the woman's body that provides the nourishment, the blood supply, the actual blood. And her eggs have to last 40 years. And her if she has a female developing inside of her, she is also creating the eggs that that female will use to create the next generation. So it's daughter and grandma. And, and the mitochondrial transmission as well. The epigenetics, all of that, right on. So we, we right now... Well, isn't it really true from science that a woman is actually the human and that men are just a competitive manifestation? I, I've heard that description before, and I think some men do exist only for the sake of their sperm. <laughs> no, but men are meant to be competitive, go out, do everything as the strength of the species. Yeah, I, I but, say that but, jokingly, but, but, Exactly, yeah. but that's the entire competitiveness. Yeah, well, the, the male-female interaction is interesting from a physiological perspective. Males are, are the protectors, are the, the ones to provide the safety so the female can create future life. And the, and, and the male is there to create genetic diversity as well, just from a pure genetics point of view. But again, we are living in a system right now, Alex, where it's already too late for grandchildren of today's pregnant women. It's already too late. They're already damaged. That's right. By that's right. By third generation yes. in just the GMO studies of the of the rats, they're done. So basically, it's, that's why they have to get world tyranny in because yeah. another twenty years, you're going to have eighty percent of people dying. If you cleaned up vaccines today and took all the mercury out and all the formaldehyde out, which is another neurotoxin I didn't even mention, if you took all that out today you would still have children damaged from vaccines for two or three more generations from now. This is a sobering thought and it's absolutely true. We are past the point of saving humanity from this devastation. The Holocaust is here and we're gonna feel it for three more generations. And that's why the globalists actually even talk about that. They did it on purpose. And so they just say, we're gonna wipe you out and they think science will rebuild some new human. Yeah, right. Kurzweil style, they kill your physical body, copy your brain into a machine and say you're still alive. You're not still alive, your soul is long gone, man. Even if they could copy your brain, your soul is gone. The spirit is what makes you alive. Well, it's been shown that in clones. You give me the exact genetics with no mistakes and it just fails to operate and is not animated. It's like nobody's home. It's just because without the spirit, you're not human. You know, and this, this idea of consciousness is so dangerous to the establishment. This idea is the key to freeing humanity, in my opinion, consciousness. The idea that we are created in the, from a greater consciousness, a greater power, that we have free will, that we have intelligence, that we have... Well, sure, just from a, a, a scientific perspective of the studies that are coming out, it's almost like the intergalactic space wind, that all this spectrum is energizing and resonating with us. Yes, I, I would agree. We are, we are not, even quantum physics proves that we are not separate from everything else in the universe. This whole, the, science is built on the idea of scientific experimentation, which says the observer is independent and separate from the experiment. Quantum physics proves that that's not true. They don't even know why that when they watch something with a telescope now, they've done the math, it's affecting it a trillion miles away. Yes. Because they're, they're now, they, they now have teleportation of information faster than the speed of light, which was thought to be impossible. Alex, all these things we're talking about here, science has to be rewritten. There is more mystery to the universe. Well, than the, the scientists, all, the top ones know this. They're there yes. to give us a false science. That's right. And keep people down because they've got us in a prison. Let's get into vaccines straight ahead. Powerful info with the health ranger, Mike Adams. Hi, this is Mike Adams, the Health Ranger, with some news about some new additions to the InfoWars store. You know, good health is freedom.
When you're healthy, you're not a slave to the medical system. Everything works well, your brain, your body, even your spirit. You're a healthier person. And to help support that great health, Alex has asked me to source the cleanest, most potent superfoods and other similar products in the world and bring them to the InfoWars store. So we've done that. The brand name is Health Ranger Select. And we're starting out right now with these three products. We've got Himalayan salt from Pakistan, formed hundreds of thousands of years ago in an ancient seabed long before modern pollution destroyed much of the oceans. This is loaded with trace minerals and it's pristine, true, full spectrum sea salt. We've also got natural attitude turmeric. It's an extract of turmeric, very potent, tastes great, alcohol free. This is from organic turmeric out of India. And we've also got clean chlorella. And we sourced and, and did research on all the chlorella sources around the world. And we found the two cleanest sources that have the lowest levels of any kind of contaminants. In fact, this one is virtually free of all metals and all contaminants. It's called clean chlorella and it's, it's about two thirds protein and it's got chlorophyll and chlorella growth factor in it. Check it out online. It's an amazing superfood that athletes are using and people are using to help support healthy lifestyles. It's fantastic. This is all packaged in our certified organic facility here in Central Texas. There we follow USDA certified standards and we're audited every year by the USDA certifier to make sure that we comply with all organic standards. That combined with the fact that we only source super clean superfoods and raw materials from around the world means that our products represent the cleanest and most potent products that you'll find across the natural products industry. Check all of these out under the Health Ranger Select brand name at the InfoWars store, InfoWarsStore.com. And we'll be bringing you more of these in the near future. Thanks and take care. Mike Adams, getting back to you. Let's go into why we originally got you yeah, here. Right. <laughs> Ten outrageous but true facts about vaccines the CDC and the vaccine industry doesn't want you to know about. So, yeah, this is an article that I did that really ruffled a lot of feathers in the vaccine, the pro-vaccine, you know, movement, uh, not a movement, but corporate science whores. <laughs> the <laughs> eugenics saying. movement. Yeah, the eugenics movement. But the, it, people need to know the real facts about vaccines, and they are. The CDC, on their website, they still openly admit that vaccines contain these elements. And will kill you. And can kill you. And can kill you. There was a, a, a big story that just came out recently about a, one of these big pharmacies that has a vaccine. It's called a high-dose flu shot for senior citizens. And the, the high-dose flu shot on their website, I'm not going to mention their name, but on their website, they say it has, has little to no side effects. But if you actually look at the insert from, that's posted by the FDA, it says, wait a minute, this... This could kill you. This could cause, neuro cause neurological... Dion Bure, and epilepsy. It's all mentioned in there, yes. And 23 senior citizens died within a, a couple of months after taking the vaccine. But they said, well, this isn't related. Why not just euthanize them? This, I think this is a soft euthanization strategy, clearly. But it's also a lobotomization strategy. Now, getting back to the list, though, it's important. Um, vaccines are an important part of population uh, control in the sense of making sure people don't get too intelligent. If you can lobotomize or deactivate a portion of their brain, and I know you've covered this <clears throat> through vaccines, then you can prevent people from asking questions. Now, asking questions is the basis of liberty. And if you stop people from asking questions, you stop liberty. It's the essence of evil. <laughs> yeah, right. So, so these metals that are in vaccines, that are added to vaccines on purpose. Nutrients. <laughs> right. To, to make the vaccines have a stronger reaction. These are so toxic that they were, of course, researched by Nazi scientists. And by the way, just as a side note, the, the sodium fluoride, because we talk about fluorine, sodium fluoride is the agent that the, the British press was reporting when they said the UK government authorized the sale of nerve gas chemicals to Syria. If you look at the reports, those nerve gas chemicals were sodium fluoride. So sodium fluoride is the basis of nerve gas. And you mean vitamin gas? <laughs> yeah, right. So if you take sodium fluoride and through chemistry, you can break apart the elements, you can get fluorine, and then you can use fluorine to make deadly nerve gas. So in essence, the, the British press was admitting that the same chemical that's put into the Austin water supply is called a chemical weapons chemical, uh, ingredient that was sold to Syria with great alarm. So just so that everybody knows, this is the same thing we're talking about here. You're drinking 
raw materials for chemical weapons. And these were developed by Nazi scientists. That's, that's where it all came from. The IG Farben under Hitler, these were developed by Nazi scientists. Why are you being racist now? That's who eventually went on to, to be convicted of war crimes, the chairperson of Bayer, the pharmaceutical company. Same folks that put HIV in the vaccine on purpose. Yes. Same very loving. Who make children's aspirin. So just so you know, and I couldn't say this if it weren't true. Oh, no, the, we, we've got NBC reports where they got convicted in France knowingly putting it in the factor eight. But what's wrong with that? You're racist if you don't kill hemophiliacs. But not only is this poisoning our children, our parents are being denied due process in courts because the so-called secret vaccine court is higher than the Supreme Court in the United States, according to the Supreme Court's own decision. It's the eugenics court. The eugenics court. So there's no due process. There's no... Just no like science. family courts were set up 100 years ago for eugenics. That's exactly. how they sterilize exactly. people. It's, 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 they, this is a whole eugenics world. Stay there. We're going to come back and get into the breaking news at nationalnews.com. It's also on infowars.com, inside Whole Foods. Hello, this is Hank Hill, and I'm telling you what, you need to listen to Alex Jones. Yeah, yeah. Infowars.com. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Judge, what is the secret of the universe? <laughs> Infoworth.com. <Yeah. laughs> All right, we're into overdrive here. Some stations don't carry it. I'm going to go to Tim and Chris and Marty and Livia. Am I pronouncing that right? Livia, I can't even read now anymore from 10 feet away. And then uh, Michael, we'll get to you in the next segment. I appreciate you holding. Uh, Mike Adams is going to ride shotgun with us till 20 after, and he's going to do another radio broadcast. Uh, Mike, uh, get into the Whole Foods investigation. Okay, so the group called Organic Spies had released a big video last year where they showed Whole Foods employees on camera saying that Whole Foods did not sell any GMOs at all. And that was big news. It was false information because Whole Foods sells all, all kinds of GMOs. And it forced Whole Foods into a position where they had to actually issue public relations statements and admit, yeah, we sell lots of GMOs. We don't even know how many GMOs we sell. That's one of their quotes because it's, it's everywhere. And then they announced that they're going to have GMO labeling requirements by 2018. But in that, they denied that they had trained their employees to lie about GMOs. That was their denial. Well, today, Organic Spies has issued a new video uh, that that we we posted because YouTube will censor it if you post it on YouTube. So we posted it over on Natural News. This video features a woman who describes herself as a former Whole Foods employee, and I've seen documentation firsthand that seems to com confirm that. I did some due diligence with this you know witness, and she is saying that she was trained that the actual training of new employees at Whole Foods involve them being taught that Whole Foods sells no GMOs. You mean whole ever. paycheck? Whole paycheck, right. In addition to that, Organic Spies alleges that Whole Foods is a, quote, organic fraud machine because they have been certified as a, quote, certified organic grocer by CCOF. And this is misleading people, they say, into thinking that everything the store sells is organic. Well, they have it painted on the side of some of the stores that everything is organic. Or nothing artificial. Yeah, yeah. The big, the big slogan, I think. Uh, and that's, that's a false slogan as well, because GMOs are, by definition, artificial. So, so Whole Foods is, once again, appears to be caught in quite uh, some big deceptions here. Now, I don't and it's almost worse than the guys that openly push GMO, because they're acting like they're not. Well, exactly. A lot of people go to Whole Foods and, and they think that everything Whole Foods sells, even at the buffet, they have a nice salad bar, you know, that looks very beautiful. But uh, many of the ingredients in their salad bar are GMO and, and not organic. So Whole Foods store ha sells a lot of foods grown with pesticides, herbicides, genetically modified uh, ingredients. And yet they, they can mislead people into thinking that that everything they sell is pure and pristine and, and and this is the only way the establishment can win because if we vote with our dollars and only buy organic and, and quality stuff it will convert the market right. take over and heal us but if they can then camouflage it then they win yeah and then it's a double ripoff right and and whole foods is really masterful at using what i call fuzzy language to try to create this with this warm and fuzzy feeling but then they, they're, what they're actually saying doesn't stand up. So we actually have, I think we have a video segment here 
that has this witness, this, this former Whole Foods employee t uh, testifying on camera, what happened? Uh, if you've got that. Yeah, let's roll that. that clip. First or second day, all the team members are given a, a, general, oral, a general information guide. And it's, a, it's called the gig book. And it's kind of like a guide for the team members if they have any questions. When we first started, we had a, it's called a day one and a day two. And they teach us about the core values of Whole Foods Market. Uh, the core values of nothing artificial, everything's natural. I think it's in their advertising too, that nothing ever artificial. When I first started at Whole Foods, I didn't know what a GMO was. I had no idea what it was. They taught us what it was and how Whole Foods Market did not carry GMOs. There you go, that's so it. If a customer would have came up to me. And they taught us what it was and they taught us that Whole Foods Market did not carry And then GMOs. she goes on, if a customer came over, we were telling them they didn't. Exactly, exactly. So this was a... this. Looks we need, you, like we need to get somebody to go get a job there and record it all. They're not doing it anymore, I don't think. This happened, this stopped in 2012, I, I believe. Now you can watch The Alex Jones Show live as it happens at Infowars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at Infowars.com slash show. Uh, finishing up with Whole Foods, I'm not trying to pick on Whole Foods here. I've had a minority of people say, hey, at least they're trying, leave them alone. If I go spend money there, and it's so Orwellian now that when I go there, like every few weeks with my wife, she goes a couple times a week, but I go every few weeks with her and the kids, people walk over and go, this was a wise choice. And I thought the first few times this happened earlier this year that it was a fluke. Then I went to other Whole Foods around town, depending on where we're at, we'll pull in and get some stuff because we're trying to only feed non-GMO uh, organic stuff to our children. We're really trying. And because it's immoral if we don't, but I don't know how average families pay for this stuff. And this is like hurting us. It costs so much. And then you figure out there's a bunch of manipulation going on. But what's this weird social thing when they walk over and go, good choice. And it's like a Soviet re-education camp. Well, from, from what I've been told by former Whole Foods employees, they are trained to treat customers as if they're visiting some kind of a luxury spa. You know, it, it's, it's a positive sort of vibe. You're supposed to reinforce the customer's purchasing decision there at Whole Foods. And I don't have any problem with that. That's whatever, that's fine. But my issue is that Whole Foods needs to be more transparent and more honest about the nature of the foods that they're selling and the training that they're given to employees. And I, I'm glad Whole Foods exists. You know, I shop there from time to time as well. But I also know how to look for the difference between GMO and non-GMO. And a lot of people don't. So... Many people can be easily deceived if, if these claims like a certified organic grocer, a big sign on the wall, with a USDA symbol. Well, my point is then they ought to have sections, uh, and I know they kind of do, where this side of the store really is <laughs> right. and this side isn't. But they, right. they want to overcharge you because if they get non-GMO stuff, they have to pay more for it. But they can get the GMO, non-organic, kind of fool you mixing it together. Right. It's about ripping you off. It's the fuzzy language again. They use a lot of fuzzy language. They, they say they have a sign that says something like, uh, quality matters. Uh, every product in our store is carefully considered. And selected. Carry, uh, carefully selected or evaluated. Well, you know, I... I, the, the same could be said for a porn shop. I mean, that doesn't mean... We carefully special, select uh, the, the, the gun we shoot you in the right. head with. I mean, that claim, anybody can make that claim, you know? It doesn't, it doesn't mean anything. A, a pesticide uh, retailer could say, we carefully evaluate all our pesticides. That doesn't mean anything. This is fuzzy language. There are other stores that say, we don't sell produce grown with pesticides. Like Natural Grocers, I think, is one of them. And that's the kind of claim that we like to see. We like to see, if I walk in the door... Everything there, man, every produce, every vegetable, every fruit is organic. And then I don't have to think about it. I want to have that level of trust in a retailer so I can walk in and just shop and don't have to evaluate everything like a lab technician, you know? And by the way, Aaron Dykes and Melissa Melton's uh, uh, InfoWars uh, investigation last year really spurred a lot. Your investigation did because you have high-level sources. We're going to calls momentarily. It's really shaking them up, and that's good. Yes. It shows that real alternative media has an effect. Organic spies is a very important, playing a very important role in society, just like InfoWars and Natural News. 
we are the, the organizations that force corporations to behave with the ethics that they should behave with on their own, but often do not. Yeah, but how does, how does YouTube and, and Whole Foods censor that when you're allowed to talk to a former employee? YouTube censorship is highly selective and, and completely done without merit. They censor, you know, they, they get a letter from a corporation to take something down that they don't like, and they take it down. You know, YouTube is, is a vehicle of mass censorship. And it's getting worse. It's getting worse. And what's, what's really worrisome is that they're censoring information that is in the public interest. So the reports that you put out, that I put out, that Organic Spies just did, this is in the public interest to know this. This is what the First Amendment is based on, is the public has a right to know. Yeah, these YouTube eating. employees, when they get an order and they go look at something and it's a thing about Whole Foods lying about stuff being organic... I mean, we should get awards for these reports. Absolutely. Not censored. Yes. No. The, I mean, if Whole Foods we're thinks we're lying, sue us. That's right. what you've got to do to take something down. Prove it in court. Come on. Right. And they can't because we actually conduct a lot of due diligence, just like your reporters do. We actually do more research. When I say we, I mean the alternative new media, like your organization and mine. We do more research than the mainstream media by far, orders of magnitude more. They just copy and paste. They take a White House press release, copy, paste it, put their name on it, boom, it's out there in the press. We do original research. We do due diligence. We check our facts. We do laboratory studies. We do hidden camera interviews. This is real journalism, Alex. This is why InfoWars, Natural News, many others out there who are doing this, we are the new well, media. Exactly. What do you make of Feinstein coming out? And, 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 oh, we're going to protect journalists, and it gets rid of the First Amendment for everybody but their lapdogs. That was her attack on Matt Drudge. That was ex expressly targeting Matt Drudge. They're trying to say he's not a journalist. Are you kidding me? Matt Drudge is one of the great American journalists of, in history. Well, that's why the Pentagon said they're worried about Drudge and other big sites like InfoWars because if something comes out, they can't control it. Right, exactly, and, and that's exactly the basis of liberty. We need sources of information that they can't control. And we've got it. And we need to fight to defend And we're not just as good as the Washington Post or New York Times. They've all been proven to be paid off in lying. Yeah. We are better. Absolutely. Qualitatively better. Ethically Instead better. of just saying we're as good, because I've been given that advice, it's true. We are as good. No, we are better. We serve a higher role in society. We break more big news. We've Absolutely. got a track record of not being paid off. Right, right, exactly. We don't take money from vaccine companies. I know you don't. We don't take money. They from could offer me a billion companies. dollars and I wouldn't, wouldn't take matter. it. No, because being involved in the mass poisoning of children, a chemical holocaust that's injected into children is not something that I would. My dad is a medical manager. Uh, got offered a, a job for a company in healthcare management where he'd made three times more money. It had vaccines involved, and he's now so informed on this, he turned it down. Good for him. That's what we have to do. Because but it's not even a decision. Right. I am not right. going to be involved hurting people. Yeah, yeah. I mean, history, history, by the way, will prove us correct. History will show that the mass chemical holocaust of our children and our population and I'm, I'm not talking about just vaccines but even the things in the food the medicine the, the synthetic chemicals that that was an era of destruction where humanity very nearly destroyed itself and and i'm hoping humanity survives this so that we can write the history books you're right but by the way we're going to the bottom of the hour if you okay. need to do that show here too because i know you got to show you can use our studio but, yeah, but okay. uh, we're going to skip the network break and go to these calls now tim chris marty uh Everybody that's patiently holding, this is so historical what's happening. And you're right. But but some people go, wow, you know, your dad got offered triple the money by a company, but a big part of it would have been pushing vaccines. So he said, no, wow, that's most people would just take it. Folks, right. By the way, I know there's some evidence that, that, that you can get acquired immunity through vaccines. It's a 500-year-old technology, going back to smallpox. But then there's all the evidence that it gives you other immune system problems, you name it. It's well, a right. But, but it's these up. companies. Exactly. These comp Exactly. People say, oh, you don't believe in science. These companies are a bunch of eugenicists. Well, I right. mean, th if they could have just the virus that they're trying to give you immunity to, just that one virus and not the 50 other hidden viruses that are in the vaccine, and if they take the mercury out and they take these other things out, I would not necessarily, I, I, w I couldn't be as animated against it. It needs to be more studied. There shouldn't it's be some secret court. Safe. Well, well, exactly, but plus... The elites all get special vaccines no one else can get. Clean vaccines. Yeah, they call them clean vaccines. Right. But I want those. Get, the masses get mercury vaccines, and that's on purpose. One vial. That's the ruling corrupt eugenics class who's right. been caught doing all these secret murderous tests. Yep. 
hitting us. I mean, they they are attacking us. And they are shooting bullets in the little children's brains with these shots. And they, I'll go further. With, with a grand jury, with courts, with the evidence of the history, I think the people that are pushing this and designed it should be executed. <laughs> I don't think they should just be arrested. Well, I think the Bayer Pharmaceutical Executives, for a decade that knowingly put HIV and hepatitis in millions of people's factor eight, I think they should be tried, convicted, and hung. I think they should just be injected with 10,000 of their own vaccines and see what happens. That's a good idea. If they're, if they're yes, by vaccine, yes, if a big machine, right. we're, uh, we're like yeah. 200 needles. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And hey, if they can, safe and effective, we'll see. You know, exactly. You know they're going to die. You know they're going to die. Of course, I mean, you die. put 40 vaccines in a kid by the time they're one. Let's give these executives 200 shots. I guarantee you, they're going to die right there. They will die because if you eat mercury, you don't absorb most of it. Digestion actually takes care of it, protects you from. That's it. a great idea. But if you inject mercury into the the muscle tissue, which is where it's injected, a hundred percent percent of that mercury goes into your blood well very nearly almost all of it yeah 99 point whatever into your bloodstream this bypasses all the protections that your body has this is bypassing nature's self-defense for your body i think that's a good idea how about these executives pierce morgan took the flu shot and then and I, got sick and, and yeah. literally they thought he was going to die yeah he got really sick from one shot man imagine I mean, we should have a, we should, I, I thought about doing this. Yeah, I talked to him in private, you know, at, at the thing and well, after they said, oh, you're right. He's like, you're right about shots, by the way. Because now he knows he took it and two days later almost started dying for three weeks. We should offer a pharmaceutical executive $1,000 a shot to take 1,000 vaccine shots. That's a million dollars to take 1,000 vaccine shots all at once, which they insist is perfectly safe. They've said 1,000 shots would be safe. They said 100,000 would hey, be wait, safe. Hey, wait, that professor, we ought to say just 1,000. Yeah, just take One 1,000. One day, you get a million bucks. Yeah, we should offer them a million bucks to take 1,000 shots, but they have to be the same vials that you can go get at CVS Pharmacy. or the. Well, Walmart. well they'll say that's too much uh, volume in the body. Let's no. give them a week to take them. You know they're going to die. <laughs> they're going to die, what, probably after 200? They're, if, they're, if they don't die, they're going to be severely brain damaged, kidney damaged, and liver damaged from the mercury. They're going to be damaged at so much. Oh, man, levels. I know troops, when they give them like 10 shots, who have convulsions. They'll kill them. Yeah, they'll probably convulse and die. You're right. They'll probably go into a coma right there on the spot. But I think that would be a great challenge to issue to say we offer a million dollars to any vaccine company executive that will take 1,000 vaccine shots within, let's say, give them 72 hours to take 1,000 shots. And, and see if they live. If they live, I'll be amazed. I'll be amazed. <laughs> oh, they'll die. I, I think they will go into cardiac arrest. I mean, they'll, they'll stop it after. After they start convulsing? Well, I, yeah, I bet after like 30 shots, they start dying. I mean, they, I don't know. But they, maybe they could take 100, but uh, they, it's, they're going to suffer real long-term damage. Because also remember, uh, children are more susceptible than adults. So we're talking about an adult here that is. But wait, if we ever defeat the eugenicist and all the documents come out, and we have big trials and everything, that we could create sort of an electric chair, an injection chair. With vaccines. And I'm not into torture, but like, <laughs> kill them with their own vaccines. Oh, That's a great idea. It, it, it could be a very effective. Like an Iron challenge. Maiden, but like a thousand needles. And you just slam it shut, <laughs> right. hit the button. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, oh, man, yeah. And uh, just use off-the-shelf vials, you know, the ones that they're giving the population. This so. you're, Well, that would be terrorism to give them the shots. That's only for oh, us. I went to CVS and I asked to buy a vial of the flu shot. I said, I want to buy the vaccine. They said, great, just go back to the pharmacy. I said, no, I want to buy a vial of the vaccine. They said, you can't buy that. I said, why? They said, that's a controlled substance. So wait a minute, wait a minute. They you don't can, want you putting it under an electron microscope. Exactly. You can, you can buy an injection of it, but you can't buy the vial because it's so dangerous that it's controlled? Really? What am I going to do with it? Well, they caught him. Well, you got to go to calls. I'm hogging I'm sorry, I'm everything. Sorry. Oh, look, 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 there's the CVS worker. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's... That's the perfect vaccine weapon. It's Freddy Krueger. <laughs> Crazy, man. All right, let's go to... Uh, Freddy Krueger, the vaccine spokesman. Oh, man. That's let's good. talk to Tim. Tim, you're on the air. Thanks for holding. We'll go to Chris and everybody else. I apologize. I'm hogging Mike here. Go ahead, Tim. Krueger. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Are you there, Alex? Yeah, I am. Go ahead. Hey, man, I uh, just got to... We'll keep it real quick. Uh, first time caller, long time listener, but... Uh, but, you know, we've we've come a long way in the last 10 years, the last decade, with marijuana and the 
and the uh, marijuana laws and the well, well, actually, marijuana. it's gotten worse. They act like they're legalizing it. They're taking people's kids everywhere when they have an MD prescribed in Colorado and California for glaucoma. They take your child to the CPS uh, torture chamber. That's CBS News, and 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 so I mean that's really horrible stuff going on. Right, everybody should know. Okay, and, and by the way, about a third of the time they have false positives. They're taking a lot of kids when you go in to have a baby or surgery or whatever, false positives. And they don't care. They're going to take your kid. Yeah. They want to get them and they want to murder them as quickly as possible with vaccines. There's also a lot of false positives in the AIDS world, the HIV test. Oh, yeah, that's all a giant scam. Of, of, you know, having a HIV and infecting someone else. And a lot of that's totally false. Well, there's a lot of viruses that mimic it. Sure. Uh, go ahead. I'm sorry, sir. Your, your point about the medical marijuana thing. I had seen a video this morning on the news uh, up in Michigan where a uh, gentleman that had been from the state, been uh, given uh, uh, right to grow marijuana medically for his MS and his epilepsy, and they went and they took a judge signed a paper to take a kid. I know. A I know. It's a, sir, no, sir, it's sir, a, sir. I'm at restaurants in Barton Springs, and all I hear is people going, they took my brother's kid, or they took my kid, and, and people have no survival instincts. Like, well, I guess that's the end of the kid. Yeah, I went and had a blood test for insurance, and they found marijuana. Folks, They, you don't just go to jail now. They kidnap your kids. The government is run by satanic pedophiles. And when they kidnap them, what do they do? They inject them with all this. And give them, and give them seven psychotropics yeah. until they yeah. murdering exactly. filth of hell. God bless you, Tim. Let's talk to Chris in Deutschland. You're on the air, sir. Go ahead. Hello, Alex. Hello, you're on the air, sir. Hello, my name is Chris. I'm from Germany. I, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm listening to your show since two years, and I really enjoy it. Well, God bless and, you, sir. Oh, yeah, they've outlawed homeschooling there, and oh, right. when your people flee here, Holder grabs them and ships them back to have the children taken. Right. Go yeah, ahead. Yeah, I agree with you. I agree with you. Um, one of my um, hardest questions would be, um, what, how about you accuse the United Nations? I mean, um, what are your, your three reasons against the United Nations? Well, here's the deal. We see the U.N. actually doing good now with the Security Council blocking, but that's only because it had a little power in the Security Council, and Russia has always been corrupt and would vote along with the globalists here. Now they're blocking, attacking it, so they're trying to rework that and ignoring it. But the U.N. was created by the Rockefellers, and it was meant to be a vehicle of evil. But when people are trying to start World War III, you know, sometimes even something set up to do bad stuff can end up being used for good. Mike Adams, your comment on that? No, I agree with you completely. The, the UN is, is a dangerous organization because of the concentration of power in the hands of the few, the few globalists. But uh, as with any such organization, it can occasionally intervene in, in a positive way. Broken clocks are right twice a day. Yeah, right. It's, I don't think their intention is to help humanity. I think they, they were forced into that position. Well, look, when you have 91% against something, Congress was forced. Yeah. Look, look, it doesn't matter what their garbage does. We, the people, are waking up. But uh, are folks starting to wake up over there in Germany? Yes, I'm, I'm trying to wake them up, and especially with you, with you, with your appearance on Peace Morgan in January this year. I'm going to show my friends, hey, come on, this is a video of, uh, of a guy who challenges the, the system and I showed them the, your video, Alex, of, of, of challenging Piers Morgan. And uh, I started it two minutes in and 90% uh, of my friends, they were listening to the video till the end because uh, when you were like, Hitler took the gun, Stalin took the gun, etc. They yeah. were all fans of it. And Alex, I, let's I, challenge Piers Morgan to a thousand vaccine shots. That's a good idea. Yeah, because you know he could bring. No, no, no. Him I officially offer him one million dollars. <laughs> he can, he can have, he can broadcast from wherever he wants. But I'm going to be there, and every night he'll be given. Every night he'll be given the, 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 the over five nights he'll okay. be given so two hundred shots a night. Two hundred shots a night uh, until he reaches a thousand, or something else happens. Yeah, the Piers Morgan vaccine shot, and I predict sure he is. will collapse in cardiac arrest after 150 shots. You know. 
first of all, he's never going to accept this. He almost died from one shot. No, no, but this is the kind of stuff that stunts. Yeah. We should go to the UN with a complaint of uh, human rights uh, over fluoride in the water as a chemical weapon. Yes. And show on the chart how it is. Yeah. Show how the Nazis and Soviets put it in the water of work camps. And, and even if the UN itself is corrupt, you use that stage as a publicity stunt. Well, that's and, we, and, and you go to city council and you just attack and attack and attack and attack and attack from every angle, just viciously never stopping, we'll bring the enemy down. Well, but I want to make sure, this is official, this is not a joke. You're officially offering a million dollars to Piers Morgan if he takes a, a thousand Yes, shots. I am offering Piers Morgan an advocate of it. Uh, or or any other scientist that uh, vaccine pusher he can find. Right. Uh, if they want to split it together. Executive. A, a, CEO a, of Merck. A, a CEO <laughs> of Merck. I'll offer him a million too. Right. To publicly take, but we have to vet it with our third party. It's be proof. Regular vaccines, not live webcam. Vaccines. Right. Hell, I'll give them two weeks to do it because let me tell you, that'll kill them. A thousand vaccines will kill them. I believe that's true. And, 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 and of course, the media will spin this. We have all the famous quotes, right. Mike, where all these executives say, you could have a thousand. You could have a ten thousand. They uh, one one guy says a hundred thousand. That's his quote. That is a hundred thousand vaccines <laughs> for children. So let's see if he'll take just a fraction of that himself. By the way, that's so ridiculous. That's like barrels. A <laughs> hundred thousand. How many barrels is that? Well, I, I think they mean if you combine all the viral elements. They're not talking about you know gallons and gallons of saline. But I mean, there's enough mercury in. In I mean, they've got studies out a decade ago where three. Flu shots in the elderly double Alzheimer's. That's yeah. like CBC. No, the flu shots are devastating. But this this is a great. I'm I'm really glad that that this happened here today because this is. How about we lower it? A hundred flu shots. No, no. It'll no. kill him. It'll kill him. No, I think I think you got to stick with a thousand because that's still a fraction of what they say children can can take. And a thousand shots. I mean, you're paying them a thousand dollars a shot, right? That's a good deal if vaccines are safe. To get a thousand dollars. That's it. Offer him one million dollars to take a thousand. There you go. Let's pick a really nasty one. Uh, uh, the the, the five hundred or flu shot, shot yeah. and five and and a hundred or Gardasil. Right. A cocktail. I mean, one of those will kill you. A lot of, uh, uh, <laughs> there it is. Okay. Oh. Yeah. We, but basically, Infowars can come up with the cocktail. That's part of the offer. Well, let's make the offer official. One hundred Gardasil, one hundred Hep B, five hundred flu. Okay, so we've got we got three hundred more here. Yeah, do do hepatitis. Uh, I don't know where did hepatitis. How about uh, 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 meningitis? Uh, whooping cough and meningitis. Those are both good. Oh, 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 oh polio vaccine. Oh yes, polio. Definitely. 100 of those. Right. And uh, they want to give the troops, how about 100 anthrax shots? Oh, nice. That is the most deadly, I actually. Like the way you're thinking. Let's, uh, 100 smallpox. Like a closet chemist over here, man. <laughs> exactly. Well, it's, it's safe and effective. <laughs> yeah, 100, it is. 100 anthrax. Yep. <laughs> oh, neighbor, it's so good oh, to have you here. They have to sign a release. <laughs> they have to sign a release because oh, yeah. they die. They can't come out. 100 you. anthrax, 100 smallpox, 100 flu, oh. 100 Gardasil. They're gone. 100. They're gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's hey, I mean it, and I got it. $1 million. <laughs> dollars. million Here's Morgan. One million smackers. If you take 1,000 vaccines, I'll give you two weeks. You'll be dead before you take 100. Oh, man. Come on. Now you can watch the InfoWars nightly news streaming live as it happens for free. Check it out at InfoWars.com forward slash show.